Hello, and welcome. I'm Xander, and I managed to retrieve my stuff. And if you look, well, I've got the jump assist and the uphill step assist on there now. Still don't have the swim boost. I have the parachute and the jetpack added to my backpack now. Uh, nothing new there. And I have jet boots on my boots, so I can fly. And pretty quickly, too. And uh, I was working on the general layout for the place a little bit more. Rather like how this turned out. These do seem a little squished, but overall I still, I, I rather like it. And they're more for show because I'll probably be doing stuff like this. These will probably go out to other pathways later on, but at the moment it's not really an issue. The power's getting drained decently. But uh, I've got this set up here, which it's got a bunch of, uh, basically a bunch of barrels. Items will automatically go where they need to in those. Oh, and I, uh, between, your, uh, I'll get into this iron in a second. In the meantime, I need to craft, I want to craft a diamond chest, because I want to have an overflow chest in case of emergency. And by emergency, I mean the fact that... Do I even know? Oh, I do have a chest. I'm going to be... I'm not going to have it built today, probably, unless I find out that I have a decent amount of time left. Whoops. Skipping a bunch of steps. I'm not going to have the quarry done today, the frame quarry. I hope to get a majority of it done, but I probably won't have the actual... Uh, programming section of it complete that might have to take another episode in and of itself but uh okay so I'll just plop this guy the thing is, is I want to make sure that whatever I put in that doesn't uh pneumatic tube with a piece of iron makes you well, first of all, let's make a screwdriver. I'm going to need one of these. This is just for red power stuff, and last I checked, the Omni Wrench doesn't work with it. But you craft a pneumatic tube with an iron ingot, and you get a restriction tube. That will treat uh, basically anything beyond this pipe, which in this case is this chest, as I believe each restriction tube counts as a thousand blocks. So things should automatically fill up these barrels before they go to that chest. But, we have to make a few things before we can do that. First of all, we need buffers, because they're a component for these guys. Which you can't see yet, because he needs also transposers. Now, if I'm right, the relay... I hope I have the right machine here. I'm pretty sure I do. The relay should automatically try and eject items from itself. Uh, I wonder if a relay can eject into a relay. Oh, oh, it went that. Oh, right, that's the input side. But uh, they will automatically eject without a signal as quick as it can get them. Now, the way I plan on setting up my storage room, which I get a convenient hole here, I want the relay here. That's the input side. This is where the screwdriver comes in handy. Let's just. Yeah, that doesn't work. But right-clicking with the screwdriver allows you to reorient things so that it's going to be helpful. Now, that covers these guys. Now, we're also going to need some different colors of wire. Uh, the red alloy ingots is just one iron and four redstone in the alloy furnace. But we need some colored wire. Which, I probably should have thought about the fact that I was going to need to do that beforehand. Whoops. But uh, I basically have some stuff set up on the... Basically I have a text document up where I can see it, but you can't. That shows basically the frequencies that I'm going to be using, the computer IDs uh, for the colors I'm using, and what given actions I have planned for them. But, uh, first of all, we're going to need some of... Uh, these guys. 
Not as many as I'm going to be making, but, uh, why not? Uh, the white wire I don't really need. Oops, you don't need to go in there. And you can go in there. But, uh, oh, I just gave you a small preview of things to come. Shortly, but things to come. Uh, you can tell my supply of nickelite is, like, toasted. So, first of all, we need filters, which are made using this recipe. I'm making three of them. They are a component for the sorting machine, which we need down below. Um, it's only going to be sorting... Oh, crap, I just realized I'm going... I'll worry about that later. When I get there. Now, the sorting machines... Oh, I faced that the wrong way. There we go. And there we go. These require blue tricity, which is why I have this nifty little battery box here. There we go. Now all three of those are hooked up. Whenever they are in this mode right here, I wish my mouse was enabled, but I don't have it enabled. Uh, the yellow dot with the arrows around it. This will cause them to automatically... Oh, I was like, what the hell is going on here? Actually, I have no idea what's going on there. That was a damn lie. And I seem to have forgot to have hooked up that, uh... Well, gotten that spot ready to be wired. Simple enough problem to solve. Ooh. The, uh... The super sprint speed is kind of disorienting at times, but... Don't need to be there. Whatever. You know, I technically could have just gone underneath, but meh. Okay, so now this guy's set up to. This should. Uh, what this will do is anything not sorted will go to. I'm gonna set it as red. Where's red? There's red. Now I want that for all three of these. Because uh, what they're going to be doing is, basically the the reason why I have three of these is because, whoops, I'm eventually going to exceed the speed at which one of these will be able to pull items out of the uh, system. But, I have this nifty little uh, relay here. Oop, there's only one problem with this situation. And I made these void pipes, I meant to make them in a bench to show you how you make them. Uh, basically what these do is they automatically destroy any item entering them. So... What? Hey. You're supposed to work right. Those are supposed to work with buildcraft pipes, but for some reason that didn't work. I shall try that again. But first of all, I'm going to need... I need a stack of cobble for every single one of the, uh, actually I need two stacks of cobble for each of the sorting machines, because I want to sort out the cobble. I'm going to get, there's the red, okay, oh, I'm going to need more flax seeds, one, two. So, you make a paint can, it's seven tin plates, which are made in an alloy furnace from one tin and two iron. So, then you take a tin can, your dye, and two flax seeds, like so, and that will make a paint can. Now, of a given color. Now that doesn't do you a whole lot by itself. Uh, and I don't I should. Do I have enough string to make another wool? Yes, I do. And do I have another stick? Wouldn't be in there. Okay, so. Then, you take a stick and a wool, like so, it gives you paint brushes. Now if you take a paintbrush and combine it with a paint can, you get a paintbrush of that color. Now notice how the paint can, whoops, the paint can does, uh, it lasts a while. I don't know if I've ever actually used one enough to run it out, because, well, you'll see here in a second. Eventually I'm probably going to want a different thing for those, but, uh, here's what I'm going to do. First of all, I need a pneumatic tube. Getting to the quarry and building it, I'm probably not going to get a whole lot of it done 
this episode because the sorting machine in itself is a bit of a bit of a task to set up. So, yeah, which is what these are for. So I'm gonna temporarily remove these from my inventory. I'm gonna see if a regular, because as far as I know, the relays are supposed to be one of the few items that will eject straight into a build craft pipe no problem because all the other items would jam if you tried so maybe it just can't handle going straight into a void pipe can you no hmm what's that all about that's strange I'm gonna have to do this a slightly different way is this... you know what Let's, I don't have a way to do a plan B B that's right plan B B uh crap see here's the problem I'm gonna have a ton of cobble that I'm not going to want this little guy is going to be my way of solving that problem Unfortunately, I would do this with cactus if I had it, but I don't have cactus, and that's a problem. Unfortunately, I don't have lava either, which is also a problem. I have a way of getting lava, but uh, let's just... Whee! That's a really fast way to get across my base, let me tell you. Let me just go get a bucket of lava. <laughs> Jetpacks make everything better. Oh. Oh, that's where my old portals were. As you can tell, it didn't move very far. And I didn't move the exit waypoint because it's close enough. I honestly do not care. I wanted to use the void pipe because it's uh, one of the most server, well, server, but I just general friendly things. I really should get that copper. Yeah, too late. It's one of the most friendly things to uh, the game for deleting items just straight up. But for some odd reason, that's not currently working right for me. So that is going to be my solution. Now, I'm going to have yellow, which is why I have this paintbrush. Right click on the thing, and that's now yellow. Now, of course, everything else is going to red, so I need to have a red pipe, which is now hooked into Mr. Relay over there. I want to fill in that hole in the ground, but I'm going to see what I have left. Now, as for sorting, the way I do this is I don't do more than have it do more than uh, whatever and the reason why I do this is because as far as I know it starts at the top and works its way down so what this means is basically it should try and clear out the higher numbers first uh, I've had some issues in the past where the machine actually can't clear cobble fast enough out of its system and I don't want to keep the cobble because I have the igneous extruder. So, oh, I didn't put the four into this one. Hopefully, that should be enough to ditch it. I might end up with issues, but I can worry about solving said issues later on. So, as for now, yellow, yellow, and yellow. Now that means that all my cobbles should head straight into this yellow thing, which should basically incinerate it. The rest of the items will go up there. Um, lost myself for a second. That will then proceed to go through these barrels, which are all wired up through here. Every single level, and this is just a platform to stand on. It's not going to be dirt, it'll change later. Items will go through these and fill these as they find space. And the relay will make sure that things get sent up in full stacks. As well as uh, the reason why I'm not just straight sorting things is, for one, it slows things down. 
uh, because it tries to sort by specific numbers. So if you put one of an item in here, it will spit out one at a time. If you don't put any in and you sort it out to just the, the final color in the end like I'm doing, it'll pull it out in full stacks. Now, undoubtedly, some cobble is still going to make it through the system. And that's fine. Whatever. They're barrels. They can hold 64 stacks of any given item. I'm going to end up with like six different types of uh, quartz in there. And I've now ended up with uh, void pipes that are of no use to me. But, whatever. And cobblestone pipes. I'm going to put this guy here. Now, ruby handsaw. I'm going to need that. I am so irritated by the fact that these linking books don't really sort, but, uh... Anyhow, let's, uh, move on to the next step, shall we? So, I'm gonna bring... Oh. Oh, well, I can get rid of these. Did I leave... Oh, that's just those things, still. And... Oops. Okay. Clean up my messes before I move on to the next topic at hand. Okay, I'm going to need these, this, uh, that should be all I need for now, but I'm going to take this, because I'm definitely going to want that. Uh, hopefully that is enough things for the moment. Uh, I am going to need a few more things, but I expect the quarry to be built in basically two things, but, uh, I have two worlds here. I managed to get stable worlds. Um, I had to make use of the clear modifiers thing, even though I wasn't even doing anything with modifiers. But as far as I know, they're stable. Uh, this one's a little bit unstable, but it won't. It shouldn't decay. Uh, by the way, that naming idea was my nephew's idea, as well as the entire world. It has tendrils that are made of iron ore. So, yeah. And this is my mining world. This is Wasteland, single biome, flat. It is quite literally pretty much flat for days. And I'm actually going to want a waypoint for here. Out. Oh, my caps lock is on. How'd that happen? Out. Now, I'm going to build the quarry starting the edge of it right about here. I want it two off the ground just because I like... Uh, yeah, 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 I knew that was going to happen. I really need to make, uh, like, an ender pouch or something to a different color. But anyhow, that'll basically go like that. Oh. I will place 25 of these. I'm going to do it in a 5x5 five five format. I'll know I'm done when I have exactly one of the things left. Okay, so, now... The redstone tubes, what they'll allow me to do is uh, the block breakers will break a block when they receive a redstone signal. Now what that means, aside from the fact that I'm going to need some panels, which I'm a terrible person for building such things, not panels, I actually want covers, I'm a terrible person for building such things out of uh, cobble. Because you want to make sure, what the panels will do is prevent the frames from sticking to any blocks, basically. Uh, if it gets stuck and it can't move the blocks that are attached to it, it will fail and not move. Whoops. So, this will prevent anything from sticking to the sides. I've had problems in the past with liquids sticking on the top. Uh, so hopefully this should take care of that problem. Now the base frame that I'm going to need, I'll put there. I will put the ender chest right about there. I'm going to need that there. Uh, you probably aren't going to see that, the reason why I need that there in this episode, because I haven't created the means for such things yet. Okay, yeah. I had to think of what I was doing, because I apparently had no idea. Okay. 
I just really want to make sure that nothing sticks. So this will be open. Uh, I'll make a jacketed wire. I'll show you that next time. That'll connect over to here, where there will be a red alloy wire, which I could probably use the white insulated cable or a cable of any of these colors for that matter, to a timer that I haven't made yet that'll be there. What that'll do is it'll pulse, it'll send a redstone signal, and these block breakers will run. But, that's all well and good, but if you don't have a way to move the, basically the, uh, the cutting head and all that up and down, you're going to have a bad time. So, first things first. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to place them normally. Now, basically the thing with red power is a lot of the machines, if they're facing like that, they will not obstruct the movement of the frames. In fact, I think they're all like that. So, the, the deployer will place blocks and the block breaker will break them, as its name suggests. Now, we're going to need a frame motor here, whose, if you shift click, it will change its facing direction, and you can see there's an arrow on it, which will tell you which direction it will move the frames. So standard right clicking will change the direction that is facing. Now, you need two of them, because you need this one facing up, and that one will be facing down. So what will happen is the deployer will place it, this will move down, it'll, it'll move, and it'll send this down, and that will move the whole frame down, and it'll just continue like that. The redstone pulses will keep that digging, and the tube frames will feed into the ender chest, which I can surprisingly open with a frame motor on top, and that will go back to the base, at which point the sorting machine will pull stuff out. And I have just discovered a serious flaw. There we go. That's better. Uh, this is going to be a really small one to start off, but that's all well and good in my book. Now, what I always do for caution's sake... Oh, let me out. Is on the bottom ones here, just in the... Actually, I just noticed I've made a slight mistake already. But... Move. Yourself. From my presence. Uh... Parachute. Help me. Ah! I got it. Uh, I just do that to make sure that nothing on the bottom can by chance stick. Now, I want to make this as compact as possible because... The batteries, these right here, which I'm placing there, and I will attach with these here. Oh, there's a. There already seems to be a slight flaw in this whole plan, sort of. Eh. They'll be fine there. Uh, this guy, however, is probably going to have to go. This does, however, mean that nothing. Oh, no, no, he's being held in place on this side. So all's well there. Uh, this guy will actually be removed. As you remember, I made two regular tube frames last time. Oops. Move. These... Oh. I made a slight mistake. I need a third one. I'll put it there. Uh, basically, this will break the frames when I trigger it too, when it comes up. It'll break it, send it out the back, then it'll go back into the deployer where, what level am I on? This is 65, so this is like 67. And I always put a little bit of extra just in case. So, what's that, 80? That definitely looks like 80. That gives me almost 200 to work with, which should be far more than I need. So, now, what I need to do is get all these things set up. Now the reason why I have all these different colors is for a good reason. Put those there, and those there. These will be here for stability, and these will be here for surfaces. Now I need receivers. What will happen 
is, first of all, I'll rotate these. Now, I'm going to have green be up. Oops. Well, there's my problem. And I'm going to set it to frequency 54. I'm going to call it uh, F up. FUP. That's now FUP. So that'll be on the lower one that'll allow me to move that up. And, uh, oh, apparently I have to actually assign it the frequency first. Now I'm going to have 55 for here. This will be F down. I, I screwed that up again. Now, if I bring out my... I don't need torches. By the way, I have this world set to Eternal Day. It, the sun will never move from noon. And that is one of the Miscraft houses. Now, when you see... When I activate... The, oh. When I activate this with a frequency set, it lights up. Which will be very important later on. But our, our up color is green... And our down color is lime. Now notice how those two will not interact with each other. And the blue lights on there mean they're getting power from those. Which are going to be a fun topic in and of themselves. I never have good luck setting these things up. Because I need you need a way to charge them. But... I end up with a slight problem of not having a decent way set up to do such things. Uh, partly because of the fact that every single one of these things, that can be covered up now, that should be all well and good there. Every single frame needs to be attached somehow. And every single one of these, as you can see, I can't place them directly. They need a surface, and the wires that should be going over here, but I may have slightly screwed that up too. I don't know. <sighs> and now you see problem number one, or 2100, depending on how you're looking at it. I'll build them on the other side. I always have, it's always an extended process setting up the frame quarry. Far more extended than I would like, but there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Once you get it set up though, it is an amazing machine. Now the important thing here is that uh, I make sure that there's no way that things can touch. Because it's all well and good if I do that. And of course, I still want to make sure that nothing can connect. And I'm going to need to make more of these. But these are my insurance that in the future, when I widen this thing, I have these covers already in place to prevent sticking just in case now I'm going to need these thingies um whoop where'd he go where did that go oh god don't be there so anyhow solar panels need something to hold them in place and the wire needs something to hold it in place, but luckily it has that. Although it needs something to sit on. Blue alloy wire. Here we go. Now, these I think are starting to charge. Hello? Ah, there we go. Okay, they're charging. Uh, these six solar panels will keep those charged. Although, the way I built this now, I have to make sure that every single one of my frame motors connects somewhere else. And... Crap. There's a slight 
the floor. Oh. I broke something unimportant. Actually, it could be important in the end, though. But, uh, lime should not hurt anything to have it transport over that. Although, it needs something to hold it in place. So, we're back to this great problem. Th this is pretty much how things happen. You see the kind of situations I end up in. But this is down? Yeah, lime is down. And lime is on top. Curiously enough. So. I'll just move this guy up the wall. And. Place another one of these. Another one of these. Technically, I don't need that. Right? Oh. Actually, there's nothing. There's no frames, I don't think, holding on to that machine. So, I actually do need this. I, however... Do not really need those necessarily. Ah, crap. See, this is where things start causing me great amounts of grief. Because now I end up with this one solar panel that's not connected to anything. However,. That's thankfully remedied by... See, the cool thing about the red power stuff is everything acts as a transfer surface for the power. Which means that I can do bad things. Now, those shouldn't stick because that thing ha has a thing on it at the moment. So... And that should be all well and good. I hope. Uh, see, I don't think doing this will work. Wrong color. Uh, do you fire? No, it does not. And that is wherein my problem lies. God damn it. <laughs> uh, see, and I don't really have any easy way to access these things. Uh, basically, what I want to do is put this here, right? But I want this here to make sure that Anytime I build things, they don't attach to it. That goes there. That goes there. I'm sure I'm making this harder than it needs to be by a considerable amount. But I don't care. Uh, and this also means that I can put that back. Take this out. Does that need to be there? I don't think it does. No, but that needs to be there. That's connected. That whole set of everything there is connected. And I can put this guy back where he belongs. Oh, although I do have a couple extra solar panels because I made a slight mistake. But that'll be okay. This is going to end up being a long episode, and I could easily shift this into another thing, but I'm not going to do that at this moment.
Now, in order to make things easier for me to work with, I always build the movement level, the thing that's going to move the entire frame. Up. You know, I just realized I'm missing a core component. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, sir, I'd like you to move. Uh huh. That's not going to get me anywhere. See, this is where things always become issues. Oh no. Uh. Okay. Oh. Hey. And place. Okay, good. Now. That should stop that. I... You can't cut cracked sand, which could be a, another issue in the future. Did I get it? Oh. oh. So, cobblestone is quite falsely one of the ugliest things to work with. But, what are you gonna do? What are you doing? Nothing at the moment. Because he will be held in place by the thing that I don't have there. I will put said transmitter right about there. So many tools. Oh, he was facing the right way, too. What? Oh, there's my problem. Up. You will move the frame up. And you will be green. Um... Well, that could be a slight problem in the end. Except... I can do that. And... Now I need a... Way to support it. See, now the only real problem here is the reason why this isn't connecting is because technically that block is occupied by this guy. So, once again, encountering things being major issues. Do I need this here? No, but... Ugh. This is a wiring nightmare. Wiring this whole thing up is going to be a pain. And I should probably just build it off camera. That's what I should do. And then I'll get the things ready next episode for the logistics after I review this thing. But, uh, yeah. Although I'm going to do a little bit more, see if I can't figure out a solution to this conundrum. And I believe I have it. Bam. Bam. Um. Hey. So, I don't know. Mm, I'm tempted to just keep going. Mostly because I want to. Is that bad? I hope not. Now... See, this causes issues in and of itself. But I guess I'll worry about that when I get there, too. Oop. 
That guy doesn't need to be there. Or does he? Yes, he does. It's the other one that doesn't need to need the cover. Okay, I know what I did with my quantum conundrum. By the way, I watched Generic B play that game. Not a bad game. If I do say so. Go there. I'm not really worried about using too many frames. Because honestly, I don't think it's possible. Did I just choose down for that? You go, you go up. God damn it. Now, that runs there. That runs there. That's held by that. And that one's held by that. And this one shouldn't be able to contact that because I have a thing on it. And this doesn't need to be here. All these are out in place by this one. And before I stop this, I just want to see, does this go down? Oh, does it go up? Oh, and for good measure, I broke it. Uh, however, because I have no output system wired up to this, you can see it's jammed. Should have brought some pneumatic pipes with me. My bad. See, I could just make this like a quarry special and make it really, 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 really long. But that would be a little excessive. Kind of like the number of frames that I'm putting up here. Excessive. Actually. I don't think it's enough. Right? I can go one more this way. Before I get in the way of the solar panels. That should be, in theory, enough. I'll just take out this guy. This guy. This guy. And this guy. For reasons that probably will not become apparent in this episode. Although, I think there might already be a serious flaw. Well, no. Yeah, no. Maybe. No. Yes? Ah! Nope. Stop it. The, uh, it's got a little bit too much thrust, and I can technically fix that, but, uh, no. Yeah, I need more panels anyhow, so I guess I will get this set up and then go into it later. And overall, I can still do the digging part other than the jacketed wire that I don't have. Speaking of which, I have some leftover lime, which I should theoretically be able to use there. Although I'm not going to mess with that at the moment. I'll worry about that later. So... I'm going to call this good. I think this proves that the world is fairly stable. Why is the map dark? That's weird. That's really weird. But, uh, yep. I'm going to call this good. I'm going to get the stuff set up in the things for next time. And during... Uh, next time, waiting for next time, and this one. Uh, this I'm probably going to put beacons down here if I ever get them. And this is going to end up containing lava, and there's going to be a glass cover over top. Actually, maybe I could use iron fences. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. You can give me your thoughts on that. As for the rest of this, I'm going to work on probably paving it over. As for this, I don't think I'm going to replace it all with cobble. Uh, it's not really going to matter in the long run. And if you're wondering how I built all these, it was with uh, the Red Power Micro Blocks. Which is one of the reasons why I wanted support for that and why I wanted to use a vanilla material and not something like construction co comb? Foam for the inside of the cave. Mountain? Mountain. Hmm. 
That looks really wrong. Meh. Whatever. I'll worry about that later. It's not even going to matter, eventually. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and as for how I made the things, I kind of ninja in a compressor. And I ninja in an extractor a while ago that you may have seen, but I never mentioned. That is the extractor. It's simple. Really simple. And the compressor is equally simple. So, yeah. I will get things set up. Uh, I guess one more recipe I'll show you. Oh, crap. I guess uh, two more recipes. I have quite a bit of diamonds now, so... I don't feel bad about really using any of those. But, uh... I'm stating that because of something I'm hinting at for next episode. But, uh, for this one... God dang it! Red alloy wire. I think you can actually directly craft that into jacketed, but I'm not sure. Uh, alloy furnace... no. Oh no, I think you have to craft jacketed from the other stuff. Which, jacketed wire is basically just covers around a red alloy ingot, and that allows for free standing wire. Uh, which, I don't know if there's really a better way to interface with the uh, the redstone pipes. So, but I'm going to make those, and I'm going to get all that stuff set up, get things ready, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.